Hi everybody, uh, it's Mike and uh, Malika today. Uh, Kyle is just in front of us sleeping, but uh, Malika decided to join me on the couch. It's a rainy day. It's been raining a lot here in Gozo. Mm, good. My good girl. Uh, and uh, so we've been spending a lot of time indoors and in the backyard where they can at least get a little bit of exercise because to take them out in the fields right now is <laughs> is very, very muddy. <clears throat> so uh, you can see uh, how affectionate uh, Malika is. And uh, it, with every day uh, that goes by, she seems to be getting more and more attached to uh, to us. Uh, she, she didn't at first, and neither did Kyle. Uh, they s kind of uh, did their own thing, so to speak, uh, as compared to, for example, some of the other dogs that I had, but, uh, uh, okay, so I got the camera ready. So yeah, so now as time went by, Kyle became more attached to us, uh, which, which uh, removed some of my concerns because I thought, boy, everything I heard about these dogs, they're, he's just going to be independent and not even give a crap about us. But that's not the case at all. Uh, it seems like around uh, 10 months to a year, they actually start bonding uh, with with the humans, with their owners. Uh, I, I, I don't want to put a number on it, but it seems to take them a while to uh, to become attached to us as compared to, for example, again, I like to use labs and shepherds as examples because that's what I had and, and German pointers. Uh, they tend to bond <clears throat> almost instantly from when they're a puppy. So these guys are a bit different. Okay, so today's video is about probably the most important thing in regards to buying a Kangal, which is the breeder, and even more importantly, the breed. Uh, the, the, not the breed, but the ancestry of, of the particular dog that you are buying. Um, I'll start with the second item, which is the ancestry, because it's a quick topic and I have the perfect example. Uh, again, those of you following my videos, this might be a bit repetitive, but for those of you who are new, uh, I have two dogs, two Kangas, uh, Kyle, a year and a half, and Mika, which is about uh, 10 months. And they are both purebred third generation Kangals uh, with the ancestries all from Turkey. Uh, and I'm not going to get into proving or anything like that, but it's, it, I can assure you they're purebred. Um, and yet, uh, very, very different pers personalities. Kyle uh, is more of an easygoing, very relaxed, not very protective dog, and uh, loves people, uh, goes up to people, plays with people. Uh, Mika is a bit more hesitant to uh, approach people. She's a bit more go-back kind of dog when someone reaches down to pet her. She's not aggressive by any stretch. And, and uh, once she gets used to somebody, she's as friendly as Kyle. But they are two different personalities. And it is because Kyle's parents are more of the social Kangal, uh, family-oriented uh, environment. Uh, and I, I believe even his grandparents, whereas uh, Mika's dad is a, a, a very dedicated guardian working Kangal. And it was very obvious from the very beginning that we have two different personalities here. Uh, and even uh, six months later, after, after we've had Mika for six months, it's, it's, it's glaringly obvious. Um, she's more obedient. Now, it could also be uh, that one is male and one is female. That I can't, I can't answer because I only have one male and one female. So if I had two males that were different or two males that were the same, then I would have something to work with. So maybe somebody out there can um, add to this. But um, she's more obedient. She stays close to me whenever she's off the leash, whereas Kyle is much more goofy, much more independent, playful, um, and, uh, and tends to run further away, uh, even though he always comes back. So again, uh, this is just a review of all the videos that I've posted um, real, very quickly. So... The ancestry is important, uh, regardless of how good the breeder is. I, I would swear by our breeder, Anna, who's from Croatia, and who I can always send the link to if anybody's interested. She is uh, su such a dedicated, 
breeder in so many different ways, N not just about the breed, but the people she, she sells to and everything. I, I cannot speak highly enough of her. Uh, so uh, it's, it's about the ancestry and it's good to ask the breeder, you know, what are the puppy's parents like? Where do they come from? Uh, what have they, what kind of environment have they been in? Uh, because I, I do believe that that has a, a, a descending effect on the, the puppies, you know, uh, from, from the parents. So uh, that's one thing I wanted to talk about. And again, I try to keep my videos short and, and as, as much information as possible. The breeder is also very, very important because obviously we all know there's always that one bad apple out there uh, that, uh, you know, uses these dogs uh, or any, any dog, not just Kangals, but any breed uh, as a business. Uh, they don't care about the, the dog's health. They don't care about the dog's welfare. They don't care who they sell them to. They just, uh, it's about the money. So, but that's, that's one bad apple. Uh, the, the majority, 99% I know, uh, do this, uh, obviously to make money, but all, also be, for the love of the, of the animal. So, um, so you have to be careful. Obviously, the first step is to filter out any kind of, um, uh, breeder that's that's not in it for the love of the dogs you know and that that's pretty pretty easy to do you you can kind of see it after the first visit when you go see them so uh other than that i you know there's there's no black and white to this uh you 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 go to the breeder you uh look at the environment you you look at the dogs themselves the adult dogs the puppies uh you, you can see that they're healthy you can you can hear from the um from the way the breeder speaks that uh, th there's a love for this for for their dogs for these animals and uh, and a caring uh, and that's very important. Not to mention, of course, the science behind it as far as how they how they merge the bloodlines and all this and, and that. Uh, so um, as compared to someone who really doesn't know much about the dogs or doesn't seem to care and is just uh, in it for the money. So. And I mean, again, uh, that's, that's going to have to come down to you guys. Also, obviously, thank God to technology. Today we have Facebook and, uh, you know, recommendations, referrals, uh, personal experiences. For example, like when I post on Facebook, I always mention Anna because I would want somebody looking for a Kangal to get a dog from her or somebody like her. There's also Fatih. Uh, a couple of Fatihs actually uh, that are friends on Facebook, uh, and although I've never met them, uh, it's it's pretty pretty clear as to which you know as to how dedicated and loving they are to the dog. So, choosing the breeder is important. What I didn't understand uh, when we went to pick up Kyle, uh, Anna, the breeder, had told me something, and it took this long, almost. Uh, a year uh, after we got Kyle, uh, that it that it clicked, and what she said to me uh, that basically we are not just buying a, a Kangal, we are buying a, 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 a character, a personality that comes with a well-bred Kangal, and uh, I'm going to try to explain this uh, because it's it's not the easiest thing to explain, but what they do, how they act, how they behave, uh, is as much about the, uh, is as much about the, uh, breed. Uh, and that's why it is so important that your Kangal or future Kangal is, uh, is got the right bloodlines, the, the real Turkish Kangal bloodlines. Now, uh, this is a very contested and, and, uh, overly discussed topic, you know, uh, Anatolian shepherds, uh, do Anatolian shepherds exist outside the United States, all the different mixes of breeds uh, and arguments as to what is a pure Kangal and what isn't. I mean, I've even seen posts where the Turkish Kangals are, according to some people, are not pure Kangals. So, you know, I've kind of given up on that, to be honest with you. Uh, what I can tell you is this. Uh, when you have a purebred Kangal, whatever that means, uh, you are getting uh, a, 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 an animal, a creature, uh, a, a, a blessing of the personality 
of a kangal. Uh, and that supersedes uh, the size, the color, how big the head is, how hard they bite, uh, uh, all these statistics and and science of, of, you know, the ears and clipped ears, not clipped ears, all these things. What Anna was telling me, which I did not understand at the time, was that you are buying the Kangal personality. And that's what's so special about these dogs, not their size and their strength and their explosiveness and, and their loyalty and protection. Because for the, for the most part, a lot of the dogs have these same beautiful characteristics. But a Kangal, uh, the way their minds work, the way they think, uh, uh, the way they act and, and interact, that's really what you are buying. Uh, the shape, size, and color is secondary. So uh, this is why I did this video, really to emphasize that it is important, uh, not just for show, uh, that your Kangal is a pure bred Kangal or as pure as you can possibly be, uh, and not a mix. And this is what I'm trying to say, uh, again, because of all the different discussions about what is pure and what isn't, what I'm saying is avoid mixed breed Kangals, you know, where they're mixed with, with shepherds or, or other dog breeds, uh, even, even dog breeds similar to the Kangals, which there are several, uh, I would avoid them. I really would. Uh, because, again, I'll say this for the third time, when you're buying a purebred Kangal, you're getting a very unique uh, personality of a dog. Uh, and that's, to me, uh, what makes them so different from any other dog on the planet. So uh, it's going on 10 minutes um, and I, I want to stop here. Uh, but I wanted to get this video out to you uh, because when it clicked in my head what Anna told me uh, a year ago uh, uh, became obviously very important. So I hope uh, what I've said in this video helps you if you're deciding on uh, that you've decided to buy a Kangal and that you are now looking for breeders. Uh, again, I, I highly recommend that you do a lot of homework. It's worth the time to invest because it's a 14 to 16 year investment. So spending a few weeks uh, uh, investing and in and, and checking out breeders and backgrounds of breeders and referrals of breeders is extremely important uh, for you to, to have the kind of Kangal uh, that you will enjoy for a very, very long time. Uh, thanks again for watching. Um, if you like this video, click like. And if you, if you like what I'm doing, uh, please subscribe. It's a pleasure sharing this information with you. And uh, I still promise you we're going to do part two and maybe even part three of the uh, nutritional video, which I know a lot of people are asking me about. So take care. God bless. This is Mike. Uh, Kyle on the floor and Malika snoring on the couch. And uh, we love you. God bless you. And we'll talk to you again soon. Bye-bye.